Yeah, he. I mean, he tweaked his, his knee, uh, and so in the game the other day. So I mean, it's not major. We're hopeful. We're hopeful it'll be. Uh, Did he practice the first? He didn't train. Duba, Duba also. Both, both of them were hurt last game. And what was Duba's injury? Hip flexor. Um, so I mean, we 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 can help out. Hope they may be available off the bench, but when they weren't training by Friday, we just we didn't we just you know we'll see for next week. But you know, both of them have injuries that hopefully don't linger. But you know, it is what it is. I don't know. Did, we find, did you find out what time the last time Collins started? It's been a while, right? You, you, you plug in a guy because the guy's injured and scores a goal in four minutes. So I know he, he, he might be injured now, but I mean he's had a different role this year. But Collins certainly delivered a big, a really good thing. Uh, he always trains well. He's always ready, and let, you know it's, we obviously have a few more pieces around them. I mean he came on and scored in St. Louis. You know, we we had he had, he had started in, again. Him and Dick had started in Louisville, and then just so I started Duba and Valeski the next game. And when 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 he came on with Dixon, they scored a scored a goal in Louis in St. Louis to win 1-0 earlier in the year. So we felt like Valeski, you know, was coming off the concussion where I didn't plan on Christian playing so many minutes. It's nice to see. His fitness allowed him to play what 70, 75 minutes. I don't when did when did Collins come hamstring? on? Yeah, it was pretty early. 20 minutes, yeah. 70 minutes. Was so. it hamstring? For who? Collins. Collins the hamstring. Yeah. We, we don't know how bad or. I don't think he tore it. I think he tweaked it. And so and and because he hasn't played a ton of minutes, you know, fatigue. Then it, your hamstring, you start to feel it, and you're tiring. It can go, so I think we got him out on time. Hopefully, it's a it, it, it's not it's a minor a minor one where he's back in the next week or two. But uh, you know, I, I'm for sure he's, he's in doubt for next week. We mentioned this on the radio yesterday, but you know, this is what third game in a row one of your two or three top forwards wasn't available because yeah. of an injury. Last week, yeah. Steven today. But you get two goals today. You have three four goals last week. And the depth at forward is. Have you had like a team that had this much depth at forward before? I mean, uh, I mean, you can say you have depth, but today the quality wasn't good. So, I mean, you know, we all watched the game. I mean, we didn't create anything in the second half. We did create four or five good chances in the first half and got two goals, fortunately. But I don't think. You know, to me, we just have to play better. All I said to the players was, "Hey, good three points. Uh, we got to play better, you know, to win games at this stage of the season and in playoff games." We were lucky today that we got the first goal, or this, this could have been a game where, where we dropped points. We just we didn't have the energy. We didn't have the. Uh, the drive to keep playing. I mean, we didn't play the entire second half. We didn't even try to score. And I could maybe live with that if we had defended as a group. But I didn't even think our collective defending was good. I just think, you know, they could have gotten a goal at any point in that second half and we would have been in trouble. So for me, for me, it was a, it was, it was, it was a struggle to sit through, but, you know, I'm thankful that we got the three points. Uh, any, is it good to get maybe back that's on the road? Why I didn't, that's why I didn't sit either. Why you didn't sit down? Yeah, I said it's a struggle to sit oh. through, but I didn't sit much because it's tough to sit when it's going that bad. But, um, I mean, can it be good? I mean, will it be good to get away for a little bit? No, I don't think it's... I okay. think, yeah, we want to go on the road. Uh, at this time of the year, I'd rather play every game at home. That's why we're trying to get home field for playoffs. But uh, our record's so good at home, we're always going to want to play here. But we've shown that we can get points and results on the road, and that's what we'll try and do next week. I, I would expect Richmond um, will have urgency. Uh, I know they just dropped the game to Charleston, but at this time of the year, they're a good home team. And 
similar to you see the, the, the turnaround. Harrisburg knew they needed points. There was a sense of urgency and desperation, and they went and thumped Montreal. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I don't. At this point, I, I don't. I don't. I would expect it's going to be very, very difficult. You know, Rochester. Pittsburgh probably wants to win a place where yeah, not many people yeah, have either. Yeah. So, so it's you know that's where we are in the season. And you know, the one thing I'll say about my team is. You know, they find ways to win, and they did handle their business. I mean, you know, it wouldn't be the way I would draw it up, but they did They did do their jobs today and get get another three points up on Louisville, which puts us closer to that top spot. I'm good.